Well, only on Fox tonight, we're digging for answers after two water main breaks in downtown Greenville. Just a couple weeks apart from each other, uh, we went straight to the leader at Greenville Water. They told us recent heavy construction in the area is partly to blame. I mean, Greenville's growing. Fox Carolina Zach Prolutsky sat down with the Greenville Water CEO and chair of Greenville Water Commission to find out exactly what happened and if they're concerned with more construction happening now. He's alive in our newsroom tonight. So, Zach, what did you learn? Well, Cody, the CEO and commission chairman asked not to be on camera, but they told me these were two of about 60 breaks Greenville Water sees each year over their 2,900 miles of pipes, which they say is well below average across the entire country. Now, on work orders that we obtained, the cleanup from both these breaks cost more than $100,000 in total. In February, two water line breaks in downtown Greenville just two weeks apart. Greenville Water CEO David Breskin says both pipes were near heavy construction, which he says played a role in the breaks. Both lines that broke showed no issues beforehand and were both made of cast iron. In total, about 900 miles of pipes in the county are made from cast iron. This was the reaction of neighbors and nearby workers the day of the first water main break. We looked out our window and we saw a river going down Red Street. A lot of traffic coming in, obviously, because so many places the roads are closed or people have to turn around, uh, so traffic was pretty hectic. With concerns from the community, Bereskin and Greenville Water Commission Chairman Philip Kilgore say they're looking at where the growth is going and every five years put together a capital improvement plan to address changes throughout their whole water system. With nearly 3,000 miles of pipes scattered all across the county, Breskin and Kilgore say it wouldn't be efficient or economical to inspect and replace all the pipes. Instead, when a connection is made, that is typically when a pipe is inspected. Greenville Water has made around 30 waterline connections in the downtown area over the last decade, and starting next month, they plan to proactively inspect those lines. Despite the two recent breaks, Bereskin and Kilgore say they were very pleased with the response and are confident in the current waterline infrastructure hidden under the ground in Greenville County. And Bereskin says with these two recent breaks, it doesn't mean that if there is construction going on, say, in your neighborhood, that your water lines are in any more danger. And there are a lot of factors that go into a line break, including the size of the construction, water usage, and more. Now, we did reach out to the city of Greenville for a comment, but have not heard back. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Zach Prolutsky for Fox Carolina News.